So this year it is a little bit different than past seasons. Um, we in the past have only typically had three, four, five new girls coming in. Uh, this year we have 13. So it's just a big difference in um, a lot of the teaching and schematics and all the things that we usually don't have to teach to a huge group. We have to kind of start over and teach everybody all over again how to work with each other. Um, I think we have a lot of potential to be great. I just think it's going to be a building year where we're trying to grow and learn and play together before anything else. Um, so you can't really do, can't really win without being able to play together in this sport. Will we have like another shot at winning a national title? Like, are we gonna be at the same par that we were last year? That was, I was just really nervous. There's definitely been some bumps and there's been resistance on both sides of us coming together because we were such a close-knit group. But I want them to feel how we felt last year. I want them to feel that sense of community and that closeness and that family that we like worked so hard to build. I think my favorite thing would definitely have to be going to Nationals last year with the team and hanging out in the hotels and jumping in the pool after we won by one point at semifinals. I have been trying to win a national championship since I got here, um, since I played here. Uh, it, it would be awesome to win. Um, I do like to take a step back and think about where we are as a program. I mean, when I played here, seven years ago. It was our first time ever going to national championship in general. So I just think about the growth of the team and second feels pretty good too. So I'm not going to complain about not winning one yet. I would like to eventually and I think that we have the talent to do it. It's just continuing to build and getting there. I definitely talk with my assistant Hannah a lot about just where we want to go as a program and there's a lot of pros to it where we get to build something new with these freshmen and hopefully build from that and just continue on and hopefully win a national championship with them. Um, but there's a lot of kind of starting over and trying to build from the base and hopefully our senior class this year can kind of step up and lead the way our girls last year did so it's it's cool to have a big chunk of girls that have been in nationals and a big chunk that haven't been because I think it's a different experience than we've ever had so it's going to test what we can do. One of our, our big funders is that we did this fall was that we uh, went and did football concession stands. Um, we worked that for two games and we potentially will do more in the future uh, just to help out and make some money and give back to the football community. I help plan and organize the fundraisers, and then um, everyone on the team is responsible for going out and participating in them. We don't get a lot of funding. We get a little bit from the school, but not nearly enough to do all of our travel oh, tournaments and yeah. equipment and uniforms and whatnot. So any uh, amount of money that we fundraise goes towards something. It's never wasted. Uh, but yeah, we do fundraisers like that. We go and we pump gas for people and we do uh, pop can drives and um, all kinds of different things to just try to help us to make dues as little as possible for everybody that's playing because we don't want anyone to not have the opportunity to play just based on funding. Being a captain has taught me to put like a whole team above myself. It's taught me to really put my like my personal feelings aside and know that how I feel isn't always what's best for the team or sometimes it is. So I kind of have learned to pick and choose what's what's the right decision to make for the team. I think playing lacrosse has contributed to my life skills and goals because it helps to keep me driven in different aspects of my life. It helps to split up my stress and split up my effort and therefore I can put better effort and better attention to everything else. I feel like having the distraction keeps me more balanced and I feel like that also helps me stay, mo stay motivated in all aspects of my life. I mean, even if you're not the best athlete, even if you're not the smartest, even if you're not whatever, um, just being a good person at the end of the day just 
it's just a life skill that anybody can take anywhere. I mean, lacrosse itself teaches uh, like time management and leadership skills and all the different things that you need to stay organized and be on top of things. Um, so if that can, if, if the sport can teach you that, that's great. But just at the end of the day, if you leave being a good person, I think I've done my job. Like that's one of the hardest things is you have to be, have that intrinsic motivation to want to play and want to put all the effort and all the time in and make it a priority. I think we just like don't get enough recognition for what we do, especially when this club team of all of them were really competitive and there's probably like six or seven girls on the team who could have went and played Division One, Division Two, D3 lacrosse. So I just feel like when people see like club, they're like, oh, like that's just a, a joke. But I know to like every single person here, it's like the world to a lot of them. I mean, this year and last year is a half a new team, honestly. Like we lost a lot of our girls and I know for the seniors we lost, well for everybody, we lost a lot of people that we really looked up to um, on and off the field. Like we lost our friends and people that we've been playing with for three years, two, one, whatever, how many. And it's a lot of upperclassmen trying to carry on that legacy where like everybody pitches in and it's kind of a learning curve right now and yeah. We had to go from someone who you can know, like, just will go out there and score a goal if you put them out there. We lost those people that you know you can lean on if you needed help. Um, but I think that also makes it good because it makes us work as a team more than playing individually. Even like with the new prospects coming in, like I want them to come to practice and be like, wow, this is a team that I want to play for. I want to make a good impression on them, like even just meeting them, introducing myself, introducing them to other girls on the team that I think are so great. The fall is always helpful just to see where we're at with the group. Um, we've got a lot to do before the spring and I think that we've got a good chunk of girls that are ready to take that on and know what we're asking of them. So I think that we do have a good chance to get back to that level, which is going to take a lot of, a lot of hard work and dedication on their part. Um, but yeah, I think, I think having a fall under our belt and letting people see what good competition looks like and we just build a schedule that helps us grow, I think is going to be, I think we'll be just fine for spring.